Good day class. In this video, we will continue the derivation of position vectors. And for now, it is for the spherical manipulator. Okay. So, we have uh, three position vectors because we have uh, four we have uh, four frames from 0 to 3. So, let's start from P01 or position vector of frame 1 relative or reference to frame 0 or position vector from frame 0 to frame 1. So again, in deriving position vector, we, are, we, will, we are just getting the distance between two origins of two frames. Okay, so... The, ori the distance between the origin of frame 0 and frame 1 along x sub 0 axis is 0 because there is no link length along x sub 0 axis as well as the at the axis of y sub 0. Okay. So again, we are getting the distance at the axis of the reference frame okay along z sub 0 we have a sub 1 because a sub 1 at is at the axis of z sub 0 next uh, position vector 1 2 or sorry or sorry p 1 2 or position vector from frame 2 reference or relative to frame 1 or position vector from frame 1 to frame 2. So we are getting the distance between the frames of frame 1 and frame 2. So as you can see class, the origin of frame 1 and the origin of frame 2 is the same. Why they are overlapping at the same origin. Because of that, we have 0 0, 0, <laughs> 0 coordinates, okay, or 0 for each element of x, y, and z, because they have the same origin, okay, frame 1 and frame 2 has the same origin, therefore, they are not uh, distant to each other, they are sharing one origin, so their position vector is a zero 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 okay next for p23 okay so the distance between the origin of frame 2 and frame and the origin of frame 3 okay so joint 3 is a prismatic joint so we will add d3 and also along the axis of x sub 1 along the axis of oh sorry this is not x sub 1 along the axis of z sub 2 sorry we are at the frame 2 and frame 3 so we will not look at x sub 1 we will look at the z sub 2 axis along z sub 2 axis okay along z sub 2 axis we have two link length Okay. We have two link lengths. The link length A2 and the link length A3. So, along X sub 2, X sub 2 is here. Okay. So, this is 0. Along Y sub 2, Y sub 2 is here. So, this is 0. Along Z sub 2 axis, we have two link lengths. So, A2 plus A3 plus the joint variable D3. So, these are the position vectors of the spherical manipulator of a 3 degrees of freedom spatial spherical manipulator.